Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I do something I've never done before. <laughs> no, not like that. Um, we're going to be doing an SSD showdown. Now I know this is something that you guys have uh, been asking for, uh, for me to do for a long time now, but um, yeah, I just, we, you know, we've been busy with the rise in CPUs and everything else. And I finally decided that I'll take the plunge and start doing the SSD showdowns. So I want you guys to uh, watch this video and at the end I want you to let me know, uh, give me some constructive criticism on what you liked and what you didn't like because obviously this is a brand new thing for me and I want to uh, refine it about as much as I have say with the GPU showdowns or the CPU showdowns. So uh, let's jump into it then and talk about the SSDs we're going to be comparing here today. So, it's going to be my personal uh, SSD of choice that I use for my operating system in my rig, the Intel 750 series 400 gigabyte SSD, and it's going to be going up against this little guy right here, the WD Black 512 gigabyte SSD. So let's jump in and talk about the specs then. So with the 750 series SSD. Uh, that's a PCIe add-in card, so sort of slots in, kind of like how a GPU does. It's on the uh, PCIe 3.0 times 4 NVMe interface and has the Intel, wow, CH29AE41AB0 controller. Isn't that a mouthful? Just rolls right off the tongue. Now it's on the uh, Intel 20 nanometer NAND and comes with a five-year warranty. Now by comparison, the WD Black 512GB SSD is obviously on the M.2 form factor. So on the uh, PCIe 3.0x4 NVMe interface, just like the 750 series, has the Marvel 88SS1093 controller. Again, just rolls right off the tongue. Now what's interesting here is that it's on the uh, SanDisk 15 nanometer NAND. And that's a big difference there, the fact that uh, Intel has always had a good reputation because they uh, make them all in-house pretty much, which is something I believe only um, a handful of others do, like Samsung and a few others. So that's good to see. And the WD Black also comes with a five-year warranty, which is, I think, quite standard these days when it comes to um, a bit more, I would say, the kind of higher-end SSD market. Or I suppose maybe a lot of people would consider these guys, say, mid to high-end SSDs. So all that being said, let's jump into the benchmarks. So the first one I wanted to do is a file transfer. So I basically loaded up a bunch of my <laughs> videos um, into a folder, making it exactly 30 gigabytes in size, and then I transferred it uh, into uh, both of these SSDs to see how long it would take. And they were both somewhat pretty fast. So the 750 series copied it over in 1 minute and 5 seconds. The WD Black SSD took 1 minute and 22 seconds. So quite interesting there. Now let's talk about uh, some actual SSD benchmarks. And for this I use the AN SSD uh, benchmarking tool. So we can see up on the screen now that in the sequential reads and writes, um, the 750 series just runs away from it uh, with it, especially in the writes. Uh, that's really, really good. And then if we go over to 4K random read and write, we see once again, although the WD Black um, does a pretty good job when it comes to reads, when it comes to writes, it just falls down big time. So that's not really ideal. And for my last test uh, I wanted to do it was a, 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 a extraction, uh, extracting through 7-zip a compressed uh, folder. In this case it was that same 30 gigabyte uh, folder I spoke about earlier. So in this we see once again a big win for the Intel 750 series SSD coming in at 3 minutes 51 seconds where the WD Black took just over 5 minutes. So that's quite a big difference there in favor of the Intel 750 series SSD. 
And if you think, wow, this is Kevin, you know, <laughs> this is his first time doing an SSD showdown. He's probably screwed something up. Yeah, I actually kind of thought the same thing. So I went and double-checked online. I do that anyway with all of my reviews after I finish writing them just to make sure I'm not getting really oddball results or anything. And uh, it seemed to be the case for uh, every other tester out there that the uh, write speeds on this WD Black are just not that good. Now another thing I like to look for in an SSD is the software it comes with. So with the 750 series from Intel, it comes with Intel's SSD toolbox. It's quite basic looking, but it's pretty easy to use. And inside you'll find uh, easy firmware updates, diagnostic scans, and an SSD optimization tool uh, which utilizes the trim functionality. So that's really cool. The WD drive, uh, on the other hand, comes with uh, WD's SSD dashboard. This is quite good, you know, much more polished looking than Intel's counterpart. However, it only has a firmware updater and diagnostic scans. There's no sort of optimization tool in there. So yeah, I'd say in software, it looks like Intel wins there also. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of this WD Black SSD by comparison to the Intel 750 series SSD? So we have to bring price into the equation. And the Intel 750 series 400GB comes in at $499 New Zealand dollars over at Playtech. This WD Black 512GB comes in at $389 New Zealand dollars normally, although right now it's on special, for $300. And $45. So it is significantly cheaper and it does have a uh, slightly higher capacity. But with that being said, the performance just isn't there by comparison. That's a significant difference. And with that in mind, I would have to hand it to the 750 series. Yeah, you're going to have to pay a bit more, but you're going to be getting a much better SSD in my mind anyway. The, uh, as the tests show, it is significantly faster in write speeds also. So yeah, that's basically how I would put this uh, review. The WD Black, it, it really disappointed me actually. I was expecting this to be really, really good. Um, I hadn't read up on it at all before I picked it up. I just thought I'd grab it and uh, give it a try. And yeah, I was actually quite disappointed. So if I were you and I had to pick out of these two SSDs, I would definitely go for the Intel 750 series. Now I thank you all for uh, watching this video. As I said earlier, let me know in the comment section down below how I did, uh, things you would like to change uh, or the hope that I would change going forward. I do want to do more of these. I was a bit hesitant because I wasn't sure that you guys would actually be that interested in it. Um, so I'm gonna do a few of them, kind of ga uh, gauge the response from you guys and then, yeah, go from there. What's that, Teddy? Mmm, Steve got his dishwasher pregnant. Mmm, that's embarrassing, Teddy. You shouldn't tell that around. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's always fun playing with Steve with the dishwasher talk. If you guys don't know what we're going uh, on about, you don't know the Steve I'm talking about, he's over at Hard Run Box. I suggest you go over and check out his channel because it's really good. Uh, he's doing, doing a lot of great stuff. And he promised that when, when his channel got to 100,000 subscribers, like it's nearly at, uh, he would do a dishwasher review. So you guys have to hold him to that. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. I know it's a bit more casual, a bit more fun. I hope you like it. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.